The play double post out of the gun bunch offset formation is one of the best passing concepts in the entire game of Madden 24. It's going to do a good job against beating man coverage. It's going to do a good job against beating zone coverage. Now, we're going to set this up with only one hot route. We're going to snap this ball quick. We're just going to drag our slot receiver. This is a really, really good man beating concept because it's going to essentially create kind of a mesh concept, a mesh post concept, if you will, with a C route on the back side. Very effective for beating man and zone. Real quick, I want you to take a look at this tight end flat route. This tight end flat route is pretty much almost always open this year. It's really hard for the defense to consistently stop tight end flat routes. So this is one of the real, and this is actually probably one of the better flat routes in the game. So you have flat route to the right, you have this drag route across the middle, and then if all of that's bagged up, let's say their user kind of squats down or sits down on the underneath routes, you can hit this post route over the middle. Even if they have a deep blue defender, this could potentially be a one play to score against man coverage if their user isn't there. So you have that route against man. Another route that we have here is this route to our solo wide receiver. Now this route to our solo wide receiver is a little bit of a timing pattern, and it's also one of those routes, in my opinion, that I've just seen. It's not going to get wide open every single time like it would, let's say, in Madden 23. So when you throw this, if you pass lead it to the left, you can click on to the uh, solo wide receiver, and you can actually user catch this route. And let me, just to illustrate this, I'm going to do it on the other side, so I'm going to throw this away from the universal coverage. But again, you'll see right here, uh, and I think the default shade here is outside, but see how I can cut it off. If they don't have a KO over there in a man coverage situation, that can be a pretty easy, um, a pretty easy read. Now, not all man coverages are shaded outside. For example, if they're shade, if it's a cover zero, it's probably going to be shaded inside. So just keep that in mind. If you don't like what you're seeing from the C route, specifically against man coverage, go ahead and throw them on a comeback route. It'll make the route take a little bit longer, but it will normally be a little bit more consistent at being able to beat man coverage. So you have the ability to certainly do that on this play. Um, however, I really like to just keep the C route and make it a super good quick high uh, passing play. Now I'm going to show you this play against zone coverage as well. This is a really good concept, really good passing play against zone. And if you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, uh, I'm going to ask you to go check out the Patreon. That's going to be linked down in the description. It's only $10. It's the best way to get better at Madden because the beauty of the Patreon is we got we only um, we have over 15 offensive and defensive ebooks already in the Madden 23 season to help you become better, help you find new ways to play the game. So if you want to check that out, again, the link's going to be down in the description. The cool part about this play is this post route, what makes it so good, it literally gets over the top of pretty much every yellow zone in the game, and it gets underneath pretty much every deep blue zone. As you see, that was cover four, that was cover three. The only coverage that really can even give this trouble is a mid-read out of a cover two. As you see right here, that mid-read can play the double post post route. The problem is most people aren't going to be running mid-reads uh, on their defenders to try to stop this. So just keep that in mind as well. And the other thing that I would say is if they're playing you in a cover two, what's really cool about this play, just the way it, the way it'll play out for you, is the running back and the drag routes are late reads in the flat. They basically become essentially mesh routes over the middle, but they're almost they're going to always keep running, and they're going to oftentimes get themselves wide open in the flat late in the play. Same thing with this running back route, as you see right here. They're not only good man beating routes, but also late in the play, they will allow you to have a high low. Let me explain what I'm talking about in terms of cover two. If you take a look here to the right hand uh, side of the screen, you're going to notice that this tight end late in the play is going to cut up field. And this could potentially be, he could potentially get over the top of the cloud. It kind of depends a little bit on what they're doing uh, with their coverage. So in this example here, let me throw this guy in a deep blue so he's not in the way. But in this example here, what you'll see is this running back late to the flat. Once everything's kind of cleared out, you can check it down. Look at that tight end as a lead blocker now, and that could potentially be a big play over the top. The cool part about this, though, is these routes work off one another. So what you'll see is, let's say they, they throw a hard flat out there to try to defend this running back route. When your tight end cuts up field on this wheel route, this is now going to get wide open against a cover two hard flat. So you have a lot of different options for a lot of different styles of coverages that people are going to play. It's why this play, in my opinion, is the best base play and uh, probably maybe just flat out the best play in the game uh, because its ability to consistently beat man uh, and zone coverage is really what makes this play 
uh, super, super effective. This post route is so hard to guard. It's even hard to use. Let me show you one last thing about this in terms of its ability to beat cover three. So in terms of cover three, if you wait on this post route when it cuts inside, just the way the deep thirds work this year, they don't really track the post route. So as you can see, um, we're going to be able to just throw this with a pass lead inside and potentially bomb cover three for a one play score. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, join the Patreon. The link to sign up for the Patreon is going to be down in the description. For just 10 bucks, you're going to get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks we create while your membership is active. So go check out the Patreon. Thanks for watching and check out the Patreon at the link in the description.